Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and Pahamar. Hello Pahamar, how are you today, sir? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. That's good. I'm making blizz powder. I am attempting to see about setting us up a reactor. Oh really? Yeah, really. I need niter. I need steel. I can get it from pulverizing sandstone at a 15% chance, and I'm pretty sure we don't have any. But once I get niter, we should have pretty much everything we need um, for this thing I have to do. What is this thing? Uh, quest. So I think I should get sand. Let's see. That should get me sand, for the most part. We'll see. Do you really need all this iron dust you're working on right now? Um, probably. Probably. Are you that short up for a pulverizer? Kinda. I need both of them for my sand. Unless I have any up here. You know what? I do have some up here. Let me use this for now, and then we'll come back there you to go. this there you go. concept in a minute. I guess we'll... I guess we had some sand. Imagine that. I know. I don't know why I said it like that. I, I didn't know either. All right. So let's see. I need 50 reactor casings. Is that right? Just gonna quickly look at my cheat sheet. So why are you making a reactor? Don't like my potions generator? Not good enough for you? Well, I figure that we raided those towers and we died plenty of times. So like, let's totally realize it. Realize it, meaning let's, let's get stupid it. amounts of power. I could probably get behind that. Because I mean, let's be honest. There's we we finished a lot of the quests. We have. Yeah, we definitely have. I'm okay with getting large amounts of power. That's good. I've got two out of the five nitro I need. Let's see. I've got the glass I need. I got the casings. I need 50 glass, 44 casings. Let's see what else I got. I have my access port, my controller. So I need a power tap, fuel rods, and a control rod. Starwolf's like, hey, that's complete quest. Parmar's like, let's get things we don't need at all. Hey, if there's anyone that's been doing the color commentary and the fun stuff here, it's been me. It's true. It's just my nature. Like, I'm just like all about, let's get it done. Let's do our job and mark those quests complete. So let's see. I'm going to take my quest book. I'm going to select the thermal melting task. There we go. Thermal melting. Cool. And I should be able to set this guy to an output face, and that should complete 100% of that. Cool. Uh, four glowstone. I got myself a power tap, so I need a fuel rods and control rod. Nice, I've got all the nitro I need. So I need three of those. So I need 18 steel, six graphite. Get close. Where should I set up this reactor? I don't know, wherever you want. I would say in the middle-ish area so that we can branch it out all over the place. It's really up to you. So, gelid cryothium. This should be getting us what we need there. I think I gave it one more than I needed to, but that's okay. Blazing pyrothium dust, maybe? I think that's going to get us...
I feel like that was a little bit okay. Maybe I'm not crazy. Maybe I'm a little bit crazy. I don't know. You're a lot crazy if it makes you feel any better. Thank you, Bahamar. I feel better now. Hey, guess who's completing thermal melting? Not me. Consume task. I need an endurium ingot and a fluxed electrum ingot. Uh, can we come back in a minute after I manage to craft those off camera? Sounds good. Sounds good. I have a fluxed electrum, but I think I need to make endurium. I have some endurium blend. Actually, I think I actually have the stuff I need to make it. So maybe not come back. Look, you Look. just do what you want. I pretty much do. I'm around for the ride. I've gathered. So, Enderium ingot. So, manual submit. Consume task. Claim reward. Hooray! Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that Illuminator frames are worthless. Tesseract frames are not worthless, but... but unless he but. changed the recipe for them, he did. An LX300. Enderium ingot. Okay, so he did change the recipe for Tesseract frames, and I guess he did not change the recipe for resonant energy cells. I'm going to say Tesseract frames are more expensive than resonant energy cells. So I vote that we both select Tesseract frames as our mission reward, because number one, we have like five redstone energy cells, so we have plenty of power, you know, storage. We don't need resonant energy cells. So and we want the Tesseract frames? Yes. Done and done. Cool. All right, let's come back in a minute here once we're ready for the next stage of what we're working on. Sounds like a, something I can get behind. Good. I'm glad that you can. All right, guys, back in a minute. Oh, boy. Here we go. Mr. Pahamar, how's it going? Mr. Direwolf, I am attempting to make a reactor control rod, because that's the last thing I need. You? I'm attempting to make some things, because they're the things that I need. Things with stuff? Pretty much. Is it... I think I gathered all the prerequisites. Oh, the rice looks so much like oats. You know what? I forgot about... Oh, yeah. I was so close. So close to having everything I needed. What are you missing? I already made it. I forgot to pre-craft shears. All right, that should be a hooray. I got all creatures great and small. Where's that? It's a pretty boring reward though. Oh, raw plastic, a drum. Drums are actually pretty expensive. They're really not. Leftover sewer, sludge boiler, biofuel generator, and a slaughterhouse. Essence berry bush, that's not bad. You know, I have to say, I don't really view the creating life quests as being like true quests, because they're just kind of there. Yeah. I kind of feel like we're two quests away from being dumb. Really? Yeah, that's how I would say. I'm creating a drum of water. That is a because, very good idea. Because why not? <laughs> um, I don't know that we need the chronotyper or breeder or rancher at this point. Because um, I don't think we're going to build any kind of animal farm without wheat. And I don't know that there's a way to get wheat. Though, I wouldn't mind trying something. I think if I make a Matic, which I thought I had one of those laying around somewhere at some point a long, long time ago when we started this map. Didn't I make a Matic? We're getting a lot of uh, um, mob essence, though. That's good. You're hard to yeah, no, no. we definitely we get a decent amount of it. I'm going to use my drum for the lava, because why not? Okay. I've got candleberry seeds and sweet potato seeds and cauliflower seeds. And cucumber seeds. All that sounds boring. 
<laughs> I was wondering if you might be able to get wheat from that. I'm guessing maybe you can somehow along the way, but I don't know. So when did you want to go back to the city and explore that uh, underground, whatchamacallit thingy? Did you want to do that now? Uh, it's up to you. I, I thought you were working on your reactor, so we could probably wait till next episode for that. Oh, by the way, I enchanted my jetpack, and I got protection, projectile protection 4. Take that. Crazy monsters that like to shoot me with arrows. Projectile protection 4. Unfortunately, you can't enchant the camel pack. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, we were talking about that last episode. Imagine, um, what was it? If it was a one that would allow you, like, extra water. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? Did we talk about that on camera or off camera? I thought it was off camera. Oh, we did that on camera. Really? Yeah, dude. Get on board with this. I should start paying attention more to what we talk about. Direwolf lives Such a jerk. Hour. I do. Uh, yeah, no, I thought that, that would be neat. All right, so, um, yeah, I know we have like a handful of quests left here. Uh, I wouldn't mind completing the creating life quests just, you know, for fun. Um, we never really did figure out where to get oats from. I, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think we have a watering can, right? I'm going to watering can some of that grass out there and get it to spread faster and see if I can't get either oats or wheat. Just just so I know, you know, that it works. Should be able to... Yeah, Didn't that's what I'm talking about. Crucible? We do. I brought it upstairs. Um, you can bring it back down if you wish. I'm done with it. Okay. I brought it up and put it by the QED. Radish, broccoli, okra, bell pepper, asparagus, and Brussels sprouts. Wow. Who did I anger to get that kind of food? Well done. Really? Kind of feel like I'm a terrible person. Well, you know, that's well, because you are. Chest. Thank you, Bob RNG. Thanks. <laughs> this is what I put up with, guys. Just oh, in case yeah. I do oh, you're oh, just oh. totally just... Unable to defend yourself. Yep, Bahamar's mean to me, guys. Oh, everyone, everyone cry for the dire wolf. It's alright. You know what I thought would be a fun way to end this map? Um, blowing each other up with rocket launchers? Um, kind of. But Except no. not that? Except not that. I was thinking, like, PvP to the death. <laughs> Like, whoever, you know, last man standing, right? And, like, one of us will get banned from the server. <laughs> like, maybe do a backup ahead of time just in case. Just like, in case. Am I correct in assuming that if you back up the server and then restore it, you would be able to get back on the whitelist? Like, thing? I or? believe so, because it copies everything. Okay. So, let's see. I got eggplant, cucumber, I'm, like, cauliflower, terrified. You just mustard, randomly get to start plant. killing me. No, not randomly. Like we'll 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 sit down. We'll both say go, and then it'll be our job to, um, like you know, fight each other to the death. And basically, whoever survives at the end is the winner. Well, I'm going to challenge you to this battle for the uh, to the death in the city. That's interesting. My Matic disappeared. That was parsnip, asparagus, and beans. Wow, that thing's not cheap. It's really weird. Like, my Matic is just gone. All right, can we come back in a minute? I want to make another one and try my hand at this grass thing for a bit. Are you doing anything interesting? I never do anything interesting. I agree. Oh! Back in a minute, guys. Yeah, whatever. Pahamar, guess what? Uh, I'm a genius. Well, you're also a genius, but I just got seeds. What kind of seeds did you get? Like vanilla seeds. Seeds. Ooh. I've done nothing interesting in comparison to that. 
I know, you're pretty terrible. Except build a functioning reactor. Oh, that's right, you did do that, didn't you? I did do the thing with the that. So, show me again how this works. Alright, so the general gist of it is the outside frame, this has got to be the reactor casing, so this is the 5x5 version of it. Right. Then there's an access port to get fuel in. Over here on the other side is the reactor power tap to get power out, so that's where we'll put our power cells and stuff. Okay. At the very top, you can't see, so inside there you see that yellow glowy thing. Okay. Yeah. Those are the Eulorium fuel rods, and at the very top okay. of that thing is the reactor control rod. So basically, you put Eulorium ingots in the uh, input port. Right. It goes into the fuel rods, and then we'll activate the reactor. Sweet. Is it's that... got a lot of heat. Is that good or bad? Uh, well, I don't. It doesn't appear to be affecting our temperature. I put some water in there mm -hmm. to kind of cool it, but we're producing. Is it gonna explode? I don't think it'll explode. I mean, it, it better not explode, explode in the last map. Yeah. Okay. But there we go, 560-ish RF for tech. Neat. So does that beat your potion generator? Yeah, potion gen was 320. Booyah. Potion gen is cooler, though, because booyah to you. I should, like, like since we Oh, hey, a random mango here, sapling showed up. Random mango. I want to see if I can get those oats, though, for you, so we can get the horse quest or whatever it is. Wow, this thing pumps out power. Oh, yeah. So there we go. Let's That'll recharge our two fuel cells, or the energy cells we use for our clones. Oh, yeah. That should be quick. So they can only accept 80 RF per tick? Yeah, so, I mean, that's a bit slow, but... I mean, I just plug it in. We have nothing else going into this thing, so... So yeah, apparently Maddox can get you vanilla seeds. That's pretty nice. So we can breed animals if you want. Nice. No luck yet on the oats or whatever, but I'm going to hold off. I don't want to spend the entire episode watering grass. Cool. So we've got a decent cool little power stuff. reactor here. I really kind of want to play with this uh, big reactors thing because I want to figure it out and get better with it and that kind of stuff. It looks like a Is fun Is that mod. because you're foreshadowing for a future series? Possibly. Yeah, because I don't yeah, even know exactly. how to use the turbine. We have all the parts, I think, for turbines. Yeah. Yeah, I I think a spotlight is due for that mod because I know a lot of people are using it and it looks like a lot of fun. Some people say it's overpowered in the amount of power it produces, but like think about how much power you would produce with like a 5x5 five five of like any generator from any other mod. Like if you had this many generators, like I think it's just more fun to build a multi-block that can produce a lot of power than I mean 580 RF. That's really not that much. I know you can get like a lot more out of it if you build it right and do all kinds of crazy stuff, but I mean, even so, like it's not hard to get large amounts of RF from other mods too. I mean, you know, Soren and I are, or I have in my past series too, automated Nether Star production so we can get Nether Star power. And that's like, <laughs> that's like a resonant energy cell per Nether Star. It's crazy. Or two of them actually, two full resonant energy uh, cells per Nether Star. And if you automate the wither killing process, which we did, <laughs> it's a little, uh, I don't want to say overpowered, but it's a little overpowered. You don't want to say you're kind of a big deal, but... Uh... I would never say that. No. So we've got, what do we got left quest-wise? I do want to get those oats. That doesn't sound terribly hard to get. We completed pig, sheep, and cow, and one up. Uh, villagers require a block of emeralds. So that should actually be easy to do. Uh, I think we have that. Wolves require raw beef and bone. That's easy. Ocelot requires some raw fish, which we're, if we don't currently have four, we should soon. Have you been taking yeah. them? I have. What have you been taking them for? Fish sandwiches. Oh my god. I might have four sitting over here though, because I don't think I've used all ten of them. Fish. Yes, I have four. So I mean we could clearly get those I mean it's really just the oats we need at this point. 
And if I just spend a little time off camera watering the grass and matting, I can get that done pretty quick. I'm going to put uh, the four fish into our... I'll make sure we don't have oats. Okay. And then, really, it's just the last step of technological revolution left over sewer, sludge boiler, biofuel reactor, and slaughterhouse. That's just a lot of boring crafting, which we'll probably handle off camera. It's that last and one that worries me. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I know from the librarian's oh, guys that's is a it bucket of meat. Uh, it's either pink slime or it's a bucket of meat. It might be pink slime. It, I think it's actually a meat bucket. I think you're correct. It looks more like a meat bucket to me. It's hard to tell because the background is grayed out, but... All right, you want to come back in a minute when we're ready to work on something next? Sure. I'm just getting ready to go back to the city, so... Okay. Back in a minute, guys. So, Pahimar, I have 65 buckets of water in my inventory. I have hope and a dream. I guess that's cool. I just wanted to test real quick and make sure that I could actually fill up water bottles from barrels. I figured you could, but you never know what was nerfed in this map. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to go fly to the city, because I think you know where it is now. No! Don't leave me, Pahimar. Look, it's northeast. Northeast. <sighs> Pahamar delights in leaving Direwolf behind. He also delights in putting junk in my chest. Look, I just put junk a little junk in that Junk that doesn't belong trunk. there. Hey, it doesn't belong there. Hey, Pahamar. it's hey, just that booty it. booty. I don't want to even hear it. Oh, don't give me that grief. Don't give me that guff. Don't give me that grief. I really need to build a sorting system because Pahamar is worse than Soren when it comes to sorting inventory. Look, I'm used to just transmuting it all into energy and then just grabbing what I want. You're used to that. No one else is. Yeah. Oh! Snap. Snap. I know someone who's not getting a beta. Hey, does anyone want to uh, do a mod spotlight on a cool new mod coming up? Because I totally don't know anyone else who would do it. <laughs> anyone else who would do it or anyone else who now can do it? Something like that. Something like that, indeed. Let's see how it is. So is it normal in hardcore mode that you regen health when you're not full on hunger? Or is that a result of this hunger overall mod thing? I think if you I... have a certain amount, you're okay. Okay, because like I know in regular Minecraft, right, like anything less than full, right, like one less than full and you're not regening health. He might have been forgiving been... with that. Yeah, I don't know if it's like something on this map that changed that, or if that's the way regular hardcore mode works. I really don't play hardcore much. So I'm at the northeast city. Where do you want me to go? I'm raiding uh, one of the buildings we were last in, because it had smeltery stuff. Okay. I figure why that's not. That's not super helpful. How about coordinates? Uh, 560, negative 800. 560, negative 800. Okay, that I can handle. I'll be honest, I'm pretty scared about going into the subways. I am too, but you know what? Fortune favors the bold? Or the dumb. That too. Eesh. Hearing explosions, are you okay? Yeah, I just barely got to a creeper spawner in time. Okay. Looks like something died here. What do you mean? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I'm outside. I found another spawner I'm going to try and take out. It's a spider spawner, and I found a water bottle, and hey, Envar, I'll take that. Sure, why not? I'm hearing pigment, I think. Cause they're, yeah, because they're down here wanting to kill you. Okay, well, that's cool. Something just exploded into fire. Yeah, that would have also been me. Oh, was that a rocket launcher? Yep, because I was killing a spawner. Okay. Then I'm okay. 
I, I thought maybe it was a type of pigment that explodes. Oh, God. <laughs> that would terrifying. be terrifying. Right? All right, so underground. I'm liking this bow. Are you liking it because you're going to use it to kill me? I may. I can neither confirm nor deny your future impeding death from a bow. It's like how we ended Agrarian Skies. I found another spawner that I'm breaking. And it's gone. I found some iron. That's always I helpful. found two spawners and that terrifies me. Alright, this doesn't have entrance to the underground. I feel like I need to go higher. Okay. I'm looking with you. Where are you at? Uh, positive 612, negative 718. Gonna fly up high. Okay, found one. That's a weird I found structure. You. I'm uh, conserving my jetpack energy. As am I. Okay. That might be an entrance to... That looks very much like a subway entrance, doesn't it? Yep. Okay. Have your bows ready. Okay. Do um, you think I need my jetpack down there? I would doubt it. He's dead. I just shot a bat with a bow and arrow. That's what's up. Move. Ah. Why am I on fire? Because you got hit by my bow. Yeah, don't don't shoot me. We got a lot of baddies in there. Oh, look at them all. I would like something that could, at range, place light blocks. Ah, don't Why walk into my fire. fire. Because you walked right in front of me. That was all you. Nice. There's scary sounds coming out of that thing. There really are. Are you sure the subway's a good idea? Nope. No assurances There's, uh, at all. There's glowstone illuminators on the ceiling. Why aren't they helping? Uh, I'm working on it. Uh, there's zombies behind us coming in the entry. I've got them covered, but I think it's nighttime outside. And I'm dead. Oh boy, I'm out of here. This subway is already the best idea we've ever had. I agree. I had a feeling you would. Okay, well, I'm going to hide out on the roof of this building and hope that nothing spawns near me. Lame. Pretty much. Lame Wolf 20. There's a squid inside of our reactor. Well, I blame you. There are two squids inside of our reactor. We now have radioactive squids. Wow. Way to go, Pahamar. Hey, I can't be helped if we are now going to be overrun with squid overlords. I think I see a zombie riding a baby ghast. This does seem like something that would happen in nature. <laughs> I just angered zombies and I shot them with bows and arrows. <laughs> you know what would have been nice to have is uh, the unlimited thing on the bow and arrow. That would have been nice. Infinity? Yeah, that one. Uh, do you want me to just hang out here or try and clear out where your corpse is? If you could try and get like a safe zone, that would be awesome. Okay. Uh, I can't make any promises because there's a lot of dudes around, especially because it's nighttime. How about, are you still at the base? Yep, I am. Can you sleep? I am in bed. If you sleep, I'm going to log out. I'll be right back, guys.
I didn't even see the brooder zombie. All right, guys, it's daytime. And I'm going to try and guard Pahimar's corpse. Did you break this block? What block? Oh, the one? Yeah, I did. Okay, that probably explains why you died. <laughs> Actually, I got hit by someone from behind. Oh, okay, weird. Maybe it was one of the things that was coming down. I'm gonna I think check the that was level. probably it. All right, this new bow is almost done. Okay. My bow is good, but I'm not low on arrows, but if you brought me some, I wouldn't complain. I got three stacks right now. I've got myself a hang glider and a invar battle wrench, although I could probably Oh, you get know what you could probably bring? If What's you're that? still at the base? More torches. Yeah, more torches would probably be super ideal. There's like a zombie pigman stuck in the floor here. It's crazy. It's a giant zombie pigman. Maybe that's why he's stuck. That's a pretty terrible way to die. Stuck in the floor. Oh, there's a spawner down there. Or I should say there was a spawner. Good job. Yeah, that's what's up. Wow, they jump really high. I feel like I don't care if you have a full use. set of armor with lots of enchants on it. Okay, feeling a little better about our situation, Pahamar, I think. Alright, I'm zippity doo dying over. Okay. I've got us some potions of swiftness too, in case we need to get out of there. Nice. Kind of uh, all out of lighting system mechanics. I've got 15, tor 15 more torches on me. I've got some in my corpse. Cool. Such a weird word to say. Corpse. Just trying to take out go. mobs from a distance. It would be cool if uh, flaming arrows would like create a temporary light source. Thank you. Oh, Splash Potion of Swiftness. Neat. You go ahead. Hold on. There's a there's a blaze. Let me try and... Ah, there's a... Alright, you go get your stuff. I don't have torches, by the way. Do you have some torches for me? Uh, there you go. There you go. Let me get my inventory sorted. Okay. Yeah, this subway system is pretty terrifying, I'm not going to lie. Anywhere in particular you want to go first and try and explore, or...? What do you think? I think, eh. I didn't even see where you went. I was down there. There's some blazes and a couple other things that I can't see around some really tight corners. Palmer's like, I've got a bazooka. If I'm behind you, I can't really do much to help you. Just That's because of the how tight these here. Oh my god. Lots of badness. Alright, do you want to go forward or do you want to go to the right? Uh, I don't know, but I think we should make sure that we're mapping out our path. So don't put torches on the ground, put torches on the right hand side of the walls. Hold on, there's... There's dust here, and I kind of want to see if there's anything interesting behind well, it. Well, I got a mob spawner gone. Okay, that's good. Yeah, always put your torches on the right-hand side wall. Then we follow it to the left to get back. Deal? Deal. I hear, like, a lot of terribleness. You know what I could do? 
that would make this a little bit more palatable. Ah! Fell down from above. You want to block I might that. be able to make this easier, Bahamar. By a running away safe. and not covering the hole? Pretty much, yeah. Let's go back to our base. I have an idea. We're kind of stuck in here, dude. No, we're not. We can get out easily. We follow the torches out. Blizzes. Back up. You got him? This actually isn't that terrifying ish. Yeah, so you say. I disagree. I'm back out of the subway. Okay, I'll make my way out shortly. I think we should come back next episode with a way to make this a lot less. Well, I don't know for sure if it'll be easier, but it should make it a little bit better. Does it involve just nuking this from orbit? Pretty much, yes. Hurry up, though, because I'm working things are on it. I had here. to deal with the blaze. Yeah, I had to do two on the way out. Where are you going? Because this isn't the way home. I'm blocking this path so things can't get through there. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, because things get through there and it's bad. Away! So, southwest door base, is that correct? One of these days, uh, I should yeah, have a waypoint door base. Yeah. Yeah, you really should do that. You should get on that. Do it. Where are you? Flying southwest. You're flying northeast. So I am. Okay. Directions. <laughs> and waypoints help, apparently? Well, I'm distracted. By what? Me asking about waypoints? Yeah, you're, you're very distracting. Thank you. I'm going to hang glide the rest of the way, because I think it's faster. So how about we wrap up the episode here, Pahamar? I think we're pretty much at the wrapping up point. And we'll come back next episode, and I'll invent a way to help us explore those underground caverns without having quite as much pain. I mean, it'll still be difficult, but I think... Wow, you're, like, really cruising, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, with the jetpack, we have unlimited height. And by unlimited, I mean we have an energy reserve that we have to respect. But still... Right. So yeah, does that sound like a good plan? Sure, I actually have an inkling as to what you're probably thinking of. I wonder if you really do or not. Does it... Is it a five-letter word that starts with D? I don't think so. Oh, what are you thinking? I was thinking it was going to be a drone. No. Well, I guess I'll just have to find out later. I agree. It's too bad we didn't really get anything good there. I got a zombie yeah, but we had fun. Huh? Some mushrooms. Mushrooms are good. Just think of all the fun we had. I know. It was a good time. And wow, just to think of how little quests we have left. Like, our battle to the death is going to be very soon. I wouldn't call it too soon. I definitely want to have a little bit of fun with... Uh... With the city before we wrap up. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the exploration factor. Ah, why am I... No, oh, okay. Let's see how it is. I'm kind of enjoying the exploration factor of checking out these dangerous cities. Like, at this point, I'm almost not going to care too much if we die. Because, I mean, we really just have a few little bits of crafting to do. So, like, let's go have some fun before we wrap up, right? Yeah, fair enough. I think that's cool. Oh, oh man. We got more friends. I don't What'd you even do? Know what this one is? If this is George. Um, yeah, it's your friend. You deal with him. I'm going over here. I didn't even see what it was. Started with a T. Probably a thief enderman or something like that. No, oh, that's fantastic. You can steal my inventory, and then just warp away. Totally fair. Totally. All right, guys. For now, Daryl Twenty and Pahimar wrapping up the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we will be back next time to probably have a little bit more fun. I got some needle gun ammo, by the way. I don't know if you want any of that. Um, cool. Uh, by the way, how hard is that to make? That's not hard at all with our current resource situation. You we can probably make lots gun? of needle gun ammo. Oh, I, I don't thought think you were going to make a needle gun. What's that? 
I thought you were going to make your own needle gun. Or do you think your bow's better? I don't know. I don't know if you can enchant the needle gun, so I don't know if the bow is better than the needle gun, to be honest with you. It's kind of a little bit of a... I'm not sure. Yeah, worth a try. I'll do some testing and find out if I want to go needle gun or not. All right, guys. Take it easy. See you later, guys.